everybody out there. This is Chris Nicholson. I uh, woke up this morning. I have not even shaved or uh, showered yet. As you can see, I, I look very, very musty. This is me early in the morning. <laughs> oh, boy. So, early in the morning, what I usually do... Let's see if I can turn this down a little bit. Early in the morning, what I usually do, I practice and um, work out my fingers, you know, just to make sure that um, I'm playing in the right style. And sometimes I work songs over and over and over and over again um, to make sure that I'm playing right, you know? Um, if I'm competing in any competitions or if I'm doing concert, I want to make sure that my concert is basically um, 100%, you know? Uh, as I give out my full effort on it, but let me show you uh, my practice. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me show you my equipment that I'm using right now. As you can see, I got the Williams and I got the two iPads right there. And I'm showing you this before I practice. One iPad. I'm actually using three iPads because one of the iPads that I'm using, I'm recording. This is an iPad Air that I'm holding in my hand and I'm recording. This right over here, this is an iPad 1, 64 gig. And that's just for music. That's just for music and pictures. That's, that's, all, it's, that's all it's good for. Right here, this is an iPad Pro, version one. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the version two, but that's a Ravenscroft, and that, that controls my piano sound. And right over here, Sorry, it keeps on blurring out and everything. This is my Williams Symphony Grand. Um, this is one of the latest digital grand pianos from Williams. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful, nice piece. So I could switch back from the Ravenscroft to the Williams and Williams to the Ravenscroft, depending on what setting do I need on the piano. So I'm not just using the Ravenscroft. Um, I'm using iGrand piano. I'm using the Williams. I'm using um, a lot of the voices on here. This is a 128 note polyphony, which is really, really good. It has a color screen, um, and it works well with computers and MIDI. I mean, it's it's perfect. Plus, over here, it looks like it has a real soundboard, but it doesn't. So I'm using this for the boat parade party. Um, that I'm, you know with my friends and everything like that um, you know since I can't take a real piano because there's, there's stairs involved so this is lighter than a real piano we can get this up the stairs that's no problem so that's what I'm using it has three pedals and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a sound test right now so as you hear best me mucho I'm gonna restart that again do a sound test and then when I'm practicing when I'm practicing on the um, on the Williams, you're not gonna actually hear me talk. I don't have a microphone. <sighs> okay, so um, I turn off the music. As I said, the music's controlled by one iPad. The piano the piano voice is controlled by another iPad. But and that is coming from the Ravenscroft itself. So let me show you this. Let me turn that down and turn on the local right here. This is the this is the Williams itself. I love both pianos. So different songs, what I usually do is I um I switch back from the Ravenscroft to uh the Williams and I love because the Williams, if I'm doing if I'm doing something like um Bessame Mood Show that For the Williams, more more like imagine. And then I can switch back and forth, so I turn off the Williams and turn on the Ravenscroft. And if I do imagine with that, it's a totally different sound. But that's not my um, let's see, this is my preset right here. Of 
stronger than the um, than the Williams. But what I could do is I could turn on both of those pianos at the same time. That's both of the pianos at the same time. So if I'm going to do Imagine, all I have to do is just call it up on my other iPad. separate mixer hooked up um, with both of the iPads and it's gonna link into the Williams um, actually yeah it's gonna link into the Williams or better yeah what I could do is I could have it linked into my um, my amplifier because I have to bring my amplifier my brother my brother's gonna be playing guitar and um, bro if you're listening uh, learn my song so you can play with me um, you know, learn all of my songs, bro. I'm talking to Darren Nicholson. If you're listening to me and you're watching this, learn my songs. Go on YouTube. All my songs are right there. So I want you to, I want you to perform with me, bro. Like, like, like the old days. I think it'll be great. So he's bring, he's bringing his guitar. Don't know what guitar he's bringing, but he asked me to bring his bring the amplifier and he's gonna sing. So I said, no problem, bro, that's no problem. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna have this setup right here, which is which is very, very good. Um, and also, um, not only that I'm using um, Ravenscroft, but here's another one. You guys can't see it because of, um, let me see if I can back this up a little bit. You guys can't really see it. Okay, there we go. I can back it up just a little bit. Here we go. So that's, this is my setup right here. <clears throat> so not only I'm using Ravenscroft, Ravenscroft um, basically endorsed me. And, you know, with Williams and everything like that, um, William, well, I mean, Ravenscroft and, and, and Williams, both of them uh, sponsored me. Williams gave me this piano um, basically for free for sponsoring, you know, as, as in sponsoring. I, I, did, um, I did YouTube videos for both companies and Basically, I well, what happened is that I I bought the I bought the Ravenscroft, um, but and I did a YouTube video which obviously they liked and they put me on their website. Um, and w Williams, I bought a Williams Legato, which is the smaller model. I still have it, and um, well, I, not the original one, but I, I sold the first one, but they they re they replaced it with another one, which is pretty cool. Plus, they gave me an Allegro and the Symphony Grand, which is the top of the line model. And, um, yeah, so I, I did videos for them and they, um, they gave me this beautiful, beautiful piano. On top of that, Williams, um, they sponsored my 40th birthday. I never had a keyboard company actually do that. You know, I never had a piano company, um, actually, actually really, really do that. They sponsored my 40th birthday and, um, they provided me with pianos, with, with pianos to actually, um, well, they provided, they gave me the Allegro 2 and the Legato for my birthday. Plus, they, um, they gave me another three set of these. So, which is another Williams Symphony Grand, the Allegro 2, and the Legato to give away to my friends for the contest. So, what I, my friends, I, I, I gathered all of my musician friends and said, we're going to make this into a contest. And, um... Was gonna say um, three people won. One person won the uh, the the Legato, which is a small model, and it's a pretty cool model. He loved. He absolutely said he absolutely loves it. Um, Sheila, 
She was another pianist. She's a classical pianist and a, and a voice trainer. She won the Allegro 2, and I hope I hope she opened it because last time I spoke to her, I still haven't opened up the box yet. Sheila, open up the box. Um, and also then Nevada Hathaway, which opens up for my shows. And I'm gonna keep on hiring Nevada because I absolutely love the way how he plays. The reason I'm also hiring Nevada, I wanna study his style. <laughs> Nevada Hathaway just basically just wow the crowd and he won a symphony grand so right now you're hearing the um let's see right now you're hearing the raven's crop so i'm going to shut off the raven's crop and i'm going to show you the i grand piano this is another piano that i like to use is the i grand piano and this sounds different oh it's transposed wow i didn't realize that it's transposed wow yeah transposed one down lower there we go This I get to change from the Ravenscroft is only a grand piano. The I grand piano, it's a grand, it's different grand pianos, and you also have uprights. So Because usually, for the, that kind of music, I, use, I like to play an upright. So if I play the same song right here. So the high register from an upright to a grand, here's a grand, it's different. And so if I go to the upright, I have my own settings, which... Uh, are right here. Here we go. I can put I can make my own settings, which is which is really cool. So what if I wanted like an out of tune piano? So let's see, let's go right over here to saloon piano. This is this is what I usually like to use for uh but I like it to be sharper. So what I do is I take this and I make it a little bit sharper and uh but with the i grand piano this is what i realized with the i grand piano you heard that little digital noise i gotta be careful because depending on how the settings are it could trigger i have to make this a little softer right over here honky-tonk setting that I really really like now if I want to get a little bit more into it check this out what I could do is I can go to um, here's one called a real tack piano <laughs> save all my settings for some reason but what what I like on this one oh, I know why you know why because I re-registered it and I got new sounds for it so that's why that's why so have it a little bit sharper and uh, really good so that's 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 a tack piano just like if you were to hear like a player piano um, I also have harpsichords, which I, which I'll, I'll probably never use. I, I probably won't use them, but, um, 
try and think of another piano. Here's a seven foot grand. I like the seven foot grand, which is real good. And it didn't save my settings. So let's see, let's make it sharper. I like sharper pianos, everybody. saving my settings as I go along everybody um, baby grands it has a baby grand and usually you don't you don't get a good um, baby grand sound but that's a baby grand that sounds just like a real baby grand and that bass now there's a difference between a baby and a concert grand It's going to sound totally different from grand piano. So I like to use Ravenscroft when it comes to grand pianos to my um, to my venue and everything like that. So it's like... It's totally different. There you go. Put my, put my settings on and turn it down just a little bit. And... Uh, Williams and um, 
there's a way, let me see if I can find it on here. There's a way that I could um, disable, oh no, I have to do it on here. There's a way that I could disable the, um, the patches. Uh, I just gotta figure out how I did that. Options, but you 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 could disable the patches, and then you could just pick a patch from here and pick a patch from here without it clashing. So what I usually do is, if I want a strength, I go to um, I go to its main page, which is the voices, and it says orchestra right here. So I got um, violin, or if I wanted strings, see here's his strings right here. <laughs> Oh, it didn't change patch. Check that out. It didn't even change patches. So I, I could take the strings right here. And that's that's basically gonna be the string patch for for it. And it's and it's it's really really cool. I mean slow strings if I want it. From you're hearing the strings from the um, the the Williams, and you're hearing the um, you're actually hearing the piano coming from the Ravenscroft. But I don't have to use the Ravenscroft if I wanted to use. I have so many apps on this one iPad alone. If I wanted to use the Korg M1, got it right there. I don't. I have I have a T3 and a T2 in my um, in my studio. Don't even use it that much because of this. And then, so what I have to do is I have to basically pick an instrument, which is right here. So that you, uh, how about the one world sound? They come from the T series, and so. <laughs> and that's with it. That's with it with the um, with the uh, Williams. So if I turn off the Williams, I just get that instantly. <laughs> The combinations that is on the M1. What I like too is um, on the iPad, and this is something not just the Williams. I use the Casio keyboard. The Casio can, can do that. Uh, this is basically the same thing as the Williams. But the one thing about the Williams that I love about is that the sound is propelled straight through the instrument. On a Casio keyboard, you have to run another line going straight to the instrument. So the sound is actually propelled straight to the instrument, and it's not taking up too much power. Um, doing actually a USB audio going in, which is which is cool. So you don't actually really have to have this around. You can have it hidden somewhere. Um, okay, let me show you this. One of my favorite ones is the um, the B3. So I'm turning off. I turned off the Williams. <laughs>
wow, 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 wow. So that's a Galileo organ. That's like my that's like my virtual B3. And honestly, a lot of people, oh, that's not a B3. I love B3s, and there's some there's some organ players that absolutely just go gaga for it. Um, my phone's calling me. Everybody, thank you for watching my video. Do me a favor. Click like, subscribe, follow me on everything, and go to my website, www.chrisnicholson.com. I'm going to start practicing soon. I love each and every one of y'all. Bye-bye. Mwah.